Hi everyone, if you're new, welcome back to the channel. My name is Juliana and in today's video, I'm gonna go over so many different premium and luxury designer brands for denim and for that perfect pair of jeans. If you're interested in upgrading your denim collection at home, this is a really great video to watch because I'm gonna go over so many different brands, everything from Rag & Bone, A Goldie, Frame and more and go over the perfect fit for each brand, all the details, you name it. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Before I get started, for reference, I am a true to size 27 or 28 in all denim, depending on the brand, otherwise known as a US 4 or 6 as well. So first off, let's start with Frame. Frame was founded in 2012, and I'm going to be talking a lot about a lot of different Californian denim brands, since in Los Angeles there are so many denim manufacturers. Frame is a LA meets London style brand. I guess you could say they're an American fashion brand that sells high-end clothing, but mostly denim. And one of the reasons I like Frame is because they mostly use really nice quality silver denim hardware and their detailing. They have a very minimal pocket, so there's no signature stitch on the back pockets, as you can see. And currently in season at Neiman Marcus, there were a lot of wide-legged pants since a lot of skinny jeans and other silhouettes have been kind of out of season, out of trend. So I am going to try on for you guys a lot of wide leg. Right now they have a model called the Liss Lim Palazzo pant and it is incredibly comfortable. It stays on my waist, which I like, and I pretty much was a true to size 28 in every single one of these jeans. They fit my butt great. Um, here is the Liss Lim Palazzo model in a medium wash and I just feel that they're really comfortable. Another style that you'll see throughout is the barrel leg, but yeah, you'll see a lot of wide-legged jeans throughout this video since they're very on trend this season. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite brands ever. This is Rag & Bone. They are an American New York-based fashion brand, and they're heavily influenced by British tailoring since I believe the founder is from England. What I like about Rag & Bone's drops of denim is they always have at least one or two seasonal and very trendy jeans. So for example, this one that's like a faux leather plus a denim combo and color blocking jean. This is very trendy. It might not be in style all the time, but I also find that it's just a way to keep the brand innovative and fresh and cool. So that first jean was called the Shea High Rise. It was a relaxed jean in size 27. And this is the mid-rise wide-legged jean in size 28. Now, in this brand, I wanted to purposefully, even though I already knew I am usually one size down than my normal size, which is 28, I wanted to show you the difference. I did try the 28 just for kicks and notice it's like quite big on me. So if you do like that like baggier, effortlessly cool look, you can do that, but I like a jean to fit me almost as if it were a glove, you know? So I'm usually a 27 in this brand through and through. All the denim that I've tried throughout the years as I've worked in luxury sales, I just know that that's my size. Now, let's talk skinny jeans. I know they went out of season and out of trend this year. However, in my opinion, I think that this is a jean that should always be kept in your closet regardless. No matter if it's on trend in season now or not, I just think that with boots in the fall winter season, every woman is gonna need a pair of good go-to skinny jeans. And what I like about these in particular is I like my skinny jeans to be long past my ankle because I'm a tall girl, so I love these. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Give a like if you're learning anything new and are enjoying the video. And with that being said, let's get back into it. Next, this is a powerhouse brand in the denim industry. This is AG Jeans, founded by Adriano Goldschmidt, who established the brand in 2000s, also from LA. So I really respect, respect this brand, excuse me, for many reasons. This brand is one of the hands down most sustainable brands I've ever seen. They are so attention to detail when it comes to how to make their denim more eco-friendly for the environment. They care so much. They put so much time and energy into that aspect of their brand. However, as a former owner of many AG jeans, this is my only complaint. Some of their jeans overstretch, and while I do love stretch to my denim, 
Some of them just don't hold my body the way that I would like. And I also don't like that most of their models are ankle crops. So what I will say is the biggest pro is if you are petite, you will love the ankle cropped models of this brand. Next, we have Mother Denim, which is also a Los Angeles-based brand. They were founded in 2010, and the brand is known for vintage-inspired jeans. Not quite like Levi's, but they are more classic in the look and feel. They have a signature Mother M stitch on the two back pockets always on every single pair of jeans that I've tried on by them. They also love to use rose gold denim hardware which gives it a touch of femininity and they definitely love to use denim on the thicker side of the fabric they they like a thick denim and they're incredibly flattering i find that with my clients mother denim is incredibly popular look how flattering that jean is i mean come on um but yeah they're actually wonderful and they come in a variety of different classic washes Page is yet another brand that's been around for a very long time. They were founded in 2004 by Paige Adams Geller, who is a top fit model in the denim industry. They're now an international apparel brand for both men and women, selling in over 80 countries, which is crazy to think. But anywho, so for the first jean I decided to try on, the barrel leg trend has been huge this season. I tried on a size 28 in these and I absolutely loved the wash, but also the fit. I'm a big fan now. Next, I tried on the Charlie Flair jean, which has a blend of cotton, polyester, elastane. And to my surprise, I was a size 27 in these. Anytime I've noticed that if it's like a blended fabrication with a little bit more elastane or spandex, I'm usually like one size down. And if you follow me on YouTube, you know I love a flared jean or a flared pant. I just love the look of flared bottoms because I just think they look so fabulous and very high fashion editorial with pointed boots and pointed heels. And another thing that I wanted to share about Paige is they have an amazing sustainability program where you can turn in your pre-owned page jeans and then get 20% off your next pair of page jeans which I thought was pretty cool. The last jean that you will see here right here this one is called the Claudine Ankle Flare Raw Hem Jean. I tried on a size 27 but I was not a size 27. They're, these were a little tight on me so I'm definitely a size 28 in these. Again I'm pretty much a true to size in most of their jeans. I'm a 28 in these but with the exception of extra stretch I'm a 27. And how cute are these super comfortable golden goose sneakers and this really chic cult Gaia sweater. I'm so obsessed. I'm going to link everything below as well. And last but not least, we have La Jeance. La Jeance is a Californian brand with a Hollywood glam feel. They're a ready to wear brand, but they also make amazing denim. I actually really love their denim. I could only find my size in this cropped pair of jeans um, and the top that I actually added is so cute and so chic. This is also by La Jeance. I love the washes that they do. That's primarily why I love them, but I always find that they run out so quickly in my size because they are so popular and they're so incredibly lightweight and comfortable while still being super flattering. I'm going to turn around just so you can see how flattering the fit is on my bottom. This literally wins the cake of art from rag and bone for me for a skinny jean as well so if you're looking for a classic high-rise black skinny jean which again to me is just a staple this is the second brand that i would recommend as well i also love the brand because apart from their gorgeous clothing they just have a californian cool feel to it and they are perfect perfect jeans for so many different body types as well they run true to size i was a 27 in both these jeans and they both fit amazing thank you so much for tuning in i unfortunately did not get to review a goldie jeans but if you would like me to review any other denim brands including ag please let me know in the comments below we are now at the end of the video if you enjoyed watching as i said before give a like down below and subscribe for more content like this Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.